Hi, this is Stuff from Zoe's Real Thoughts, and today I'm going to be reviewing Joshua Oppenheimer's The Act of Killing. The Act of Killing showed at the LA Film Festival, and if you have seen any of my other videos or have even talked to me in the last two months, the two films I've been relentlessly recommending have been The Act of Killing and The Crash Reel. And if you have two of the greatest documentarians ever, in my opinion, Werner Herzog and Errol Morris, backing you up and executive producing your film, The Act of Killing, I can't, I couldn't even imagine like how great of a film that really is and there's a reason why, uh, it's fucking great. Basically the story is Joshua Oppenheimer, the the director challenges these former Indonesian death squad leaders to reenact their killings um, and Anwar Kongo who is one of the leaders he is so inspired by you know the gangster genre and so he kind of channels his Scarface and um, makes it's like a movie within a movie and um, the lines of narrative and documentary is just completely kind of blurred and so it creates this very bizarre raw terrifying um, uneasy feeling when you actually witness um, Anwar Congo reenacting his killings he's basically a modern-day Hitler um, and so it is complete you just cannot even believe your eyes that he is reenacting you know he's killed a thousand plus people personally personally I mean like and he's like a leader and it is complete uh, it's just horrifying to see for one thing um, that you know that he's acting within his movie and yet you know that it happened in real life and um, I really loved or I didn't think I would see this but I love that he has uh, demons that he's dealing with every day and every waking moment it is like a nightmare for him and almost making this movie in the process of making this movie he reflects back and um you know he realizes a lot of things like he probably shouldn't have killed all those people um and i didn't really expect that because contrary to other killers they have they're oblivious they have they don't care they don't care and you see them even in the Film, in the process of making this film that they're threatening other people um, oh god they're threatening other people and um, they're blackmailing them they're you know doing all these horrifying things and this this issue is still this is still going on within Indonesia um, and I have I had no idea about Indonesian culture or anything and so this was very shocking um, and I, it's not just a simple story. It wasn't just like, let's present this history of Indonesian um, genocide, basically. And I loved it that Oppenheimer creates this. It, it's so interesting. And, um, you know, when I, I didn't, I had no previous knowledge going into it. And so I was just like, how did he, like, make these people uh, do the things that they did? And, um, but I'm glad that he he constructed this in a way where it is like one of the best documentaries to see, and um, it's it's really hard <laughs> to accept everything and just witness everything because they're encountering people who are actually affected by these killings and making them act and um, just it's it's like a complete nightmare and it. It's amazing the way it all works out, and um, it's probably one of the best documentaries to see ever. Um, and I have nothing but good things to say. And oh god, I get, I'm getting chills. It's it's so good. It is it is just quite hypnotizing and amazing and. You know, it'll scare the shit out of you. And that's what documentaries should do is, you know, have you watch it, be scared of it, have you reflect back, and kind of this this notion of evil and good is presented and it is so, you know, it's so interesting to see that kind of, um... <sighs> yeah. Anyways, 
Thanks for listening. Um, definitely go see it. It should be out somewhere. Please follow my Twitter, Tumblr, Blogspot, whatever. Bye. Each time you look at a star.